All right, now we're going to go ahead and install the front rack. What you need is a 10 millimeter and a 13 millimeter ratchet. Easiest way to do these is take two of your bolts that came with it. You want to slide these into this top part first. And when we do this, you get them slid up so they go into these slots. Get your bolt started. We'll do that on both sides. And we'll put our nuts on the end. We're not going to tighten these down by any means. We're just going to start them so it holds it in place. All right, so I have those two started. We can come down to the middle rack. We're going to do the same thing. Just get your bolt started. The last one on this side. We're going to get them started. Then we're going to take our last two. They go in the bottom here. With this all being installed, it's still got a little play in it that you can move it around without tightening them up. And we're going to install these back, these bottom bolts. Now we can go ahead and tighten them all down now that I've got them all started. Top two. And your front rack's done. All right, now we're going to install the rear rack on the 150 Hummer. This is probably the most uh, difficult part of the assembly on this. You want to take out the screw here in the back, the screw here, and there's matching screws on both sides. You need to take those four screws out. It's a 10 millimeter ratchet. Take those four bolts out. All right, now that we have those out, comes the tricky part. If you want to raise that up here, Dave. The 150 comes with two holes in them with rubber grommets in it. You got your rack. What you want to do when installing this rack, the easiest way to do it is tuck the back half up underneath all the way. Get it to where we can put our fronts down through the grommets. After I get that started, what I want to do is come down below. You can go back down under now, Dave. And it's really a pain in the butt. I kind of want to pull back on this and push down on the front at the same time, try to get the snap in there. Okay. And it will snap in. You just got to mess with it a little bit. Then again, just like the front rack, I'm going to start all my screws and not tighten them down until I have them all four started. Seven. Do the same for the other side.
Okay, you can come on up here. You just want to make sure that the rack is fairly level. There might be a little bit of difference in gaps. But just go through and tighten it. Now that's the assembly of the Tau Tau 150 Hummer ATV. You still need to do the prep on it and you need to change the oil on it. You can check out those videos with us. But that's the 150 Hummer by Tau Tau.